Good evening. New Crows coach Don Pike has been described as the perfect fit to lead the Adelaide Football Club in the wake of the Phil Walsh tragedy. The 46-year-old was unveiled today after a marathon selection process. Tom Rennie is there at West Lakes and Tom, Pike has vowed to pay respect to the Walsh legacy. No doubt about that, Brenton, and as much through action as anything else, he spoke a lot about Team First, and we know that was a mantra that Phil Walsh brought to this football club almost 12 months to the day when he was appointed as the coach. And though they share many of the same philosophies on the game of football itself, Brenton, there is no doubt that Don Pike wants to put his own imprint and own stamp on this football club. Sealed with a handshake. Don Pike unveiled as Crows coach three months after the tragic death of Phil Walsh, whose passing stunned the football world. The 46-year-old wasting no time paying tribute to his predecessor. Very respectful of Phil and what he brought to the club. Um, he came in in a period where there was change required and he, he started that change. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't able to see that through. This time last week, Pike was preparing for a grand final in his role as assistant coach at West Coast, the club where he won two premierships as a player. He was first approached for the Crows job in mid-August, but wasn't given the green light until after a marathon interview in Brisbane on Wednesday. It was a four and a half hour grilling earlier this week and uh, said he emerged as a, as a compelling candidate. Pike is no stranger to Adelaide, having worked as an assistant under Neil Craig, but he's under no illusions of the job ahead, starting with next week's crucial trade period. There's a lot of good things at the footy club, and a lot of those things were started by Phil, um, and so my challenge is to come in and work with the things which are good and to try and identify the things which we can still improve further. Pike rang key players and coaches last night. He says the way they conducted themselves after Phil Walsh's death was extraordinary. The way that the players and the coaches responded and handled themselves in that last period of time um, says a lot about them. But this is a new era and Pike hopes success might not be too far away. We're in a really, a really good position. Um, we've got a solid playing group, we've got some good coaches and uh, that's uh, exciting to see what we can, how we can improve that uh, going forward. Tom Rand, 9 News.